guys so melody susie sent me these gel polishes they're part of their i am going to mess up how this is pronounced but it's like juliver something like that um collection they're like jelly colors um i don't know what i was gonna say anyhow um this is the box that they come in i did pop the tops open so i wasn't struggling to get them open on camera but these boxes are honestly really pretty they look kind of like marble and they have like this um texture to them i don't really know how to explain the texture but it kind of feels nice um, they are 15 milliliter bottles um, on the side here you have like their contact information um, all these like you can recycle whatever that's supposed to mean in that this right here means that once it's open it's technically expires at 12 after 12 months but um, anyhow then you got this back here and then on this side you have your directions your ingredients and obviously the caution um they did let me pick out the colors um i think there's like 14 different colors on there i know there's like this uh, the blue and then there's like some pinks there's nude, orange, I think there's a purple and like a gray as well. I also think there's like a white one, like a milky white. Um, but these are the bottles. This shape is so different than like any other bottle that i have seen usually you'll see like the round bottles or a square bottle but this is kind of like i don't know stop sign ish although i don't know if that's the right amount of sides for a stop sign but anyhow it almost kind of looks like a gemstone like the shape and the way it's like cut you can see like these edges and like ridges and stuff i think that's really cool it's also kind of like shimmery it's like this shimmery pink color which is really pretty um again on the back you have directions ingredients caution all the same stuff that was basically on the box um and then you get the little like color swatch here on the lid as well as the number that it is so i got jm01 which is this blue and then jm28 which is kind of like a peachy nude color so i'm gonna start with the blue one obviously i had to get the blue because blue is my favorite color this is a really pretty color it's a really nice light blue um like i said these are supposed to be jelly they look very like milky and kind of more opaque here like in the bottle and on the brush but we'll see what it really looks like once we swatch it here It's definitely giving more of a milky kind of look to it, rather a jelly look, but it is super pretty. Um, it is a very light color. Um, it like 
I feel like on camera you can see the blue a lot more than I can in person. Like it's very, very light. It really does almost look white, but you do get that kind of bluish tint. And then this one, it's like a peachy nude. This is pretty too. Again, in the bottle, it's looking more milky, which I feel like it's gonna look like that on the swatch as well, which it does. This is actually a really nice nude color. And I definitely prefer a more like sheer nude versus a more opaque nude. Um, I like the jelly nudes or like kind of like this, the milky nudes. Um, I feel like on camera this one's looking more white, but in person you can see more of that like um, peachy kind of undertone in there. And this is what they look like with one coat. You can definitely tell they are different. Um, Separately, they were kind of looking a little similar, but here next to each other, you can definitely tell this one is the more blue one and this one is the peachy one. You definitely can get away with just doing one coat if you wanted. Um, if you wanted more color, obviously you can add more coats to build up that color that you want. I probably am going to add a second coat just because I am seeing a little bit of streaking here on these um, up in this area. So I probably am going to add a second coat just to cover that up. Also to see like what they look like with multiple coats. But I think these are pretty colors. Um, like I said, I really like this one because it is like a really nice nude color. I feel like this would look really good for like the base of like French tips and stuff. And then this blue one, if you're trying to do like a, like use a milky white or something, or like something that would use a milky white, I feel like it would work too. Um, although I don't know how well that would go if you were to add a second coat, but we're gonna see here. Um, because the blue is very very light like it doesn't um come through as much as it does on the brush and in the bottle it definitely looks a lot lighter and more white it almost looks like a white with a like blue um like undertone to it But yeah, once you add that second coat, it definitely does look a lot more blue. And it does become more opaque. I actually really like how that looks with the second coat. Way more than I liked how it looked with that with just one coat. Let's see what this one looks like with two coats. If this wasn't so streaky up here, um, I would definitely say this is a good like base for anything, like just with one coat. And then yeah, the second coat definitely brings out more of that peachy color. I feel like it could still work well as a nude base with two coats, but I liked how it was looking color-wise um, for a nude, like a base with just the one coat. 
I will say these do apply really smoothly. They are pretty thin as well. Not as thin as the um, Born Pretty gel polishes that I just reviewed, but they're definitely not as thick as like Madame Glam or Nail Reserve or Nails by Dev or Ball Pit. So I went ahead and put a top coat on these off camera. I think I got a hair in that one when I applied the top coat. Oops. Um, these colors are really pretty. They're very soft. Like I said, I definitely feel like this is a good like nude color and would look really good like with a French tip. Um, or even on its own. Like both of these you can do on their own, obviously. But I feel like this would look really good. Um, with a French tip. I honestly can't tell you which one I think is my favorite because I honestly thought the blue was going to be my favorite just because it's blue, but I am really liking how this looks. Um, like I said, they go on super smooth. I don't really know like they seem like they level all right but on that first coat there you did see that streaking so um I don't know like if I really feel like they level all that great but like with the second coat you can't see that streaking anymore um, I do know Melody Susie has like cream gel polishes as well and I kind of want to try those to see like if the formulation is the same or like similar like how they compare versus um, these like milky kind of shades but also with the streaking I feel like milky shades do tend to streak a bit more than like some other colors. I feel like the more pigment there is in a um or like not pigment but um like the more opaque it is I guess uh the more streaking you can tend to have I feel like these are nice gel polishes and I would definitely buy them buy more to like try them out and use them They're really pretty. I'm trying to figure out like what to do with these colors, like what kind of design to do. I don't know if I just want to use just this one or like try to come up with something for both. I don't know. But I do, um, they did give me a code for Melody, oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? Melody Susie did give me a code. Um, I did have a code before, but they gave me a new one, so I guess that other one doesn't work. So I'll um, pop that code up here on the screen, and it will be down in the description below if you are interested in um, purchasing anything from Melody Susie. Um, Melody Susie mainly has like um, nail e files. Um, I think they have like flash cure lamps as well. I don't know if they have full size lamps, but I think they have like a gooseneck um, flash cure lamp. Um, they also have. Well, I think they still have the little, like, subscription box that you can get that has, like, different, um, products in it. I got it, they sent it to me once and it had, like, um, hand files, there was, like, an e-file bit, um, I got a tip cutter in there, there was some other stuff in there that I can't remember, but it's, like, different little nail supplies that they give you, um, so also on their website they have, like, different nail supplies like tip cutters and um, e-file bits and now they are also selling gel polishes they also have acrylic I think they still have the acrylic um, I have tested it out here on my channel a while ago and um, 
I am not really a big acrylic person. I don't really like acrylic um, just because it never really works out very well for me. I can't use it very well. Um, I definitely prefer gel where I have a lot more time to work with it and um, can actually take my time and I don't feel like I'm rushed because I am pretty slow when it comes to doing nails. But um, I did test that out and they have a clear. I really like their clear acrylic. I feel like it's super clear. And um, as someone who, I'm not really a beginner when it comes to acrylic, but I'm not all that great with it. So um, when I say that clear doesn't have any bubbles in it and it's not cloudy, um, it really, it doesn't get cloudy and it has no bubbles. And like I said, I'm someone who's super slow, doesn't really know how to work with acrylic very well. Um, I have mentioned before, I did go to cosmetology school. I am licensed. We did do a segment on nails, but we only were, did that for eight days. And, um, we only did acrylic one of those days so I didn't really get much practice with the acrylic um, I never got to use it on an actual person we only use it on those little plastic fingers that are like bent like this um, so there wasn't really much practice going on there but anyhow um, like I was saying, they just have a bunch of different nail stuff on there. So if you are interested in purchasing anything from them, if you already do purchase from them and you need to, you know, get more from them, I do have a code that you can use that will save you some money. But now that I'm done with the swatching, I am going to switch over to doing the nail art. I'm also going to switch over to doing a voiceover so for the nail art i wasn't really sure what i was going to do but when i was digging through all of my like nail art and like charms and stuff i found these like gold and white stickers that i thought would look really pretty on um like the nude color so i pulled those out and I'm going to apply that nude color to all of the nails. I do two layers of this and I cure each layer for 60 seconds. Also, I noticed when I was applying um, this color to these nails, I didn't have any streaking going on like I did when I swatched it. So I'm wondering if maybe it was just the way I applied it. Um, it, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell if the streaking is because of how you applied it, if it's just the formulation and the color itself. Um, so I feel like it might have been my fault because as you can see, as I'm applying this color, I'm not really getting that streaking anymore. I am, however having the color separate from the nail tip as you can see here but that is just because I did not prep these tips at all um, usually when I'm doing my videos I don't prep the tips just because I'm doing them for the video not for any kind of long time wear so if you are doing press-ons or you're doing your own nails you do want to make sure you are prepping the nails in order for the gel polish to actually adhere properly to the nails and you don't get that separation that I was getting. After I got all the nails painted, I just went in and wiped them off with some alcohol to remove that sticky layer because I am 
going to be adding those stickers on top. I have found that adding stickers onto a sticky layer, um, they just kind of slide around and they don't really stick very well. So if you do want them to stick down better as you apply them, definitely wipe off any sticky layer that there may be before applying your stickers. And now I'm just going to go in and apply the different stickers in any way that I feel like putting them down. Um, these stickers I have had for years now. Um, I want to say they came from Amazon. Um, and I've tried to find them again or like some similar to this, but um, I was unsuccessful in finding any, but there's all kinds of different like white and gold stickers out there. Um, you can look on Amazon, Timu, AliExpress. My absolute favorite place to get stickers is from Shop Kiki. Um, I love those stickers and they are so easy to use. Like you'll see here, I do have some trouble picking up some of the stickers. And these stickers are kind of stiff and do tend to rip easily. Um, I didn't have that issue when doing this set, but I ha have had that issue before um, when using stickers like from Amazon, but I've never had that issue when I bought any stickers from Shop Kiki. Um, I'm sure she has some similar stickers like this or like some white and gold stickers as well. So I just pick up the sticker I want, pull it off the sheet, place it onto the nail, and then use the opposite end of my tweezers to smush it down and make sure that it is fully pressed down onto the nail. I got these tweezers off of Timu, but I know you can get them like anywhere now. I will say though, they are really sharp. Um, these ones that I have, it never fails whenever I use them, I always end up poking myself with them and end up bleeding um so i never have that issue with any of my other tweezers um but yeah i don't know i always have an issue with these tweezers so i don't really use them very often but anyhow um like I said, I do use this opposite end to smooth them down. I will also press them down with my fingers just to make sure that they are completely flattened and smoothed down onto the nail. And I don't really have anything else to say about this just because I am just using stickers and like picking them off the sheet and placing them on. It's pretty straightforward how this is going. Um, so honestly, if you want to skip through all this and get to the end, you can. I don't really mind. Um, or if you want to sit here and watch it all the way through, see how I place the stickers and like the way I do it, you can. Either way, it's fine. Um, but I am just going to, like I said, continue, let this play out and I will be back at the end.
So usually when I use stickers or I know I'm going to use stickers, I personally like to encapsulate them just to make sure they won't be popping off or lifting because sometimes stickers can get a little weird and end up like peeling off the nail. But if I don't know that I'm using stickers and I end up using them at the end or like in this instance where I'm just putting them on some press-ons I like to double top coat them or in this case I'm applying my base coat first and then going in with a top coat just to make sure that they are really sealed in there and they're not going to lift up at all. I will also file around the edges, especially if I have any hanging off like the ones at the free edge there, because those hang off the sides of the nails. I do wanna file the sides off a little bit just to help and make sure that they don't end up getting caught on anything and peeling off or just peeling off on their own because they are kind of hanging off a little bit. After I get the base coat applied, I cure for 60 seconds and then apply the top coat and cure that for 60 seconds. And this is the final look. I did pull out my practice hand to pop these in so I could show them off a little bit. But um, I really like how they came out. I think this um, nude color here from Melody Susie is a really nice nude color. I also feel like it works really well with these white and gold stickers here. So first impression of these gel polishes, I do feel like they are a good quality gel polish. I did have a little bit of streaking there when I was swatching them, but I didn't have that streaking when I was applying the polish to the tips. But that might have just been like how I was applying the gel polish there at first. Um, I do want to get some more of these and like try them out and see how they are like over time and how I feel over time about them. Um, I am going to obviously continue using these two colors that I got so I can test them out. But I do want to try some of the other colors and see how those look as well. But that is it for this video. I do just want to say thank you to Melody Susie for sending me these gel polishes. And thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.